Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. And I just want to come on here. It's a Saturday. It is currently 3.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. So we saw crazy, crazy moves on a lot of stocks on Thursday and Friday because of DWAC. This stock moved mountains, okay? Whenever you get a stock like that one, um, it just gets all the momentum going in the market. It gets all the day traders that may have been doing other things. It gets them activated. And it just creates this huge amount of FOMO and volume. And we love trading volume. And we love trading momentum. And we love trading and taking advantage of FOMO. Now, you don't want to be a victim of FOMO. This is a big problem. And unfortunately, I have seen a lot of traders on Friday um, get absolutely smoked on PHUN, fun. This is another stock that was going with um, DWAC in sympathy of that stock. And, you know, once one goes, it brings up all the other ones with it. So, uh, especially when other stocks are going into halts, then the stocks that aren't halted at the time, those go. And, you know, it's just craziness. It really is crazy to trade these. Now, there is a lot of potential trading these. And I'm, I'm going to actually show you, even though I didn't trade anything on Friday, because I was at my other business. Those of you that might be new to the channel know, I mean, don't know, I own other businesses. I also day trade basically every day. It, was, it just so happened to be Friday. I could not trade at all. So I missed all of these great moves. So it's actually pretty good going back and looking and seeing maybe how I would have traded it and also how you could have traded it. And I really think looking at the charts, it's so clear to use these indicators that I have on my chart, the nine EMA on the chart, on the one minute and on the five minute, but more importantly, on the one minute is such an important indicator to use when trading momentum. So we're gonna go over PHUN and where I would have been trading at that time of the morning. And um, <clears throat> you know, if you're somebody that lost on this, it's totally fine. I mean, so many people lost money on these two stocks and you might ask yourself, how can you possibly have lost money when a stock is up that much? It happens. It happens. FOMO gets the best of you. You get in way too high and you don't stop out at the right times. And it happens. You know, entrances on crazy momentum stocks like this are so much more important because you have to get in good to be able to deal with those pullbacks. They shoot up, they pull back, they consolidate. You don't want to get stopped out after a pullback and when it consolidates. So you have to get good entries. And I'm gonna show you here exactly how I would have traded this stock. And I know it's like, okay, you're going over this after, you didn't trade it at all. What do you possibly know? And you know what, you do have a point, but we, maybe we could go over this together and we can see using the nine EMA, why it would be so important with VWAP, trading these momentum stocks. So we're going to do that right now. Before I get into breaking this one down, please hit the thumbs up for the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. 
Um, you know, we've seen really great growth in the community uh, of Green Bar Trading. Jump over on Discord also, linked in the description. It's really a great trading community. So this is how I have my thinkorswim set up. I find this is the best way to set up thinkorswim when trading momentum. And on this left side here, this is where I have my momentum scanner that I created that mimics the warrior trading momentum scanner. I have the video on YouTube. You guys can go check it out for yourselves if you want. This is the high of day momentum scanner. Obviously it's not working today because it's Saturday, but that video on YouTube has a ton of views, a ton of likes. It's a great video. It's a great scanner if you have thinkorswim. All right, so let's take a look. PHUN is trading because DWAC is ripping higher, okay? It gets all the traders interested. Now, this is the time frame that I would be trading something like this, right around this time pre-market, before the market opens, is when I take a lot of my trades. Um, you know, it's not for everyone, but I do love to trade in the pre-market. Uh, there, there's a lot of great opportunity to definitely make some money before the market opens. And, you know, pre-market, this is also something really important. It doesn't halt. So like, you're not going to get stuck in those faults that you'll get into after the bell rings from 930 until 4 p.m. There's no halting in pre-market. So that is something that is definitely a plus. And you can see, you know, fun <clears throat> halted and just destroyed people's accounts. I hate to see this. I feel terrible for whoever got caught in this. That is no good. But look at this. Look how many times it halts. You can't be stuck in something that goes up that many times. Take your profit, get out, because you never know when the last halt is going to be. Very important with trading these stocks to get in and get out, trade the front side of the move. You never want to get caught trading the back side of the moves. So anyway, pre-market, fun. Ripping up, but then it comes back down below VWA. This is where you have to wait it out, this area here. From 8.30 until 8.50, <clears throat> do not trade it. You don't want to be trading something when it's under VWAP because that means that it's bearish at that time. Wait until the stock proves itself. If you're trading momentum, this is specific to momentum trading only. Wait until the stock proves itself. At 8.50, that's when it finally broke through the nine EMA and VWAP. And this is where the nine EMA is absolutely critical. The nine EMA will provide some really nice pullback buys on a stock that is very, very bullish. The pullback to the nine. So you rip up, we're way over the nine here. Almost always going to come back down to the nine EMA for the next leg higher, comes back down to the nine EMA, gives great entrances, way up higher than the nine, comes back down to the nine. Same thing. Look at this. This is just tons of bull flags. Why is that not working? Any day now. Bull flag after bull flag after bull flag. I mean, every time it pulls back, we're getting these great little opportunities here. And right here you have a very nice 
flat top breakout here for the next leg higher, and then you have a pullback and you break under the nine EMA. This is where you're so elevated from VWAP that the move, if you're not already making money in these first legs higher, bull flag after bull flag after bull flag like this, flat top breakout. There was so many opportunities here. One minute pullbacks, you name it, it gave you all the moves. There's eventually going to be a bit of a ceiling that develops and you get some sell off, um, you know, and then during the market open, we all know what fun did. It ripped up into halt, 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 so much momentum. But at this time of the morning, there was so many shares traded. It was insane, absolutely insane. So also over here on the five minute, I don't just look at the one minute. On the five minute, you want to wait until you get a nice setup. That nice setup happened right around here. It consolidated for 15 minutes right here under VWAP. It wasn't going any lower. It was just consolidating very nicely, holding the level, holding up over $5. And then we get this nice bullish hammer on the five minute chart right here. So this is off of support at 533. 534, and then it produces this nice five minute candle right here. And that's where this whole move started right from here. It held support. You can see down here. You know, pretty clear area here that it held up, dipping down and rebidding in one minute. That's what you want to see. Holding this level, consolidating very, very nicely. And then it started giving the moves. But this is where we run into the problems, right? When this starts going parabolic, just the shorts are just totally getting squeezed here. And it's halting. And you have to wait through all these halts until this last halt that lasted way too long. And during that time is when a lot of people lost their accounts. I don't, I don't like this at all. This is not good, but you know, it gave you so much opportunity to take your profit here. You can't be greedy when you trade these stocks. I get it. I understand like, you know, it was going up, you didn't really get a chance to get out. Um, and that is unfortunate. But when we're trading these stocks, it's just in and out. Take your profit. You could always get back in. Look at this. 175 it hit. And then we are now sitting at 80. I don't think this is over. These stocks usually will give you a few days of action. So I'm expecting Monday to be pretty wild. But just know when you're trading these momentum stocks, please be very careful, manage your risk, follow rules that you have set for yourself, and don't get caught up into following and feeling that FOMO of other traders making money. Because for all those traders that made a lot of money, there's a lot of traders that traded on Friday that will never ever step foot in the stock market again. And I just hate when that happens, but it does happen often when we see these types of stocks. So, you know, follow these type of setups. Trade the bull flags, trade the flat top breakouts. Get that quick move, get in for it and then get out scalping as you go. You could get in and out really quickly. There was so much liquidity, so much volume. There's no reason to just buy and hold them and just hope that they, you know, go wherever they go. Just trade them in and out. And if you can't trade them in and out, don't do it. Simple as that. 
sit on the sidelines and wait for your setup. So that's it for me, guys. Just a quick Saturday little lesson here. The nine EMA is so great. Um, I think everybody should add it to their one minute chart, as, you know, along with the VWAP. Really, really nice indicators. So I will see you guys tomorrow with the weekly watch list video that we've been killing it with. Really, really good picks. So that video will be tomorrow, and I will see you then. Take care.